So I'm doing a walkthrough for my friend and she really wants to know more about this game and it's one of my personal favorites. Um, some of my discs are really old so uh, some won't read the cutscenes but some will. Don't know what's going to go on. Um, so basically you'll have to find some of the cutscenes on YouTube. So yeah, here's my first walkthrough ever. Sorry if there's any interruptions, I am babysitting. So, here we go. As I said, some don't like to read, so basically we just ex just skip them. I know most people like original names, but in this case I would like to name a character whatever I please, so please do not judge. Sometimes it takes a while to load. First, I'm going to configure, turn my battle speed up, key messages, I'll light the icon. You can, you know, do whatever you please, but again, this is me and my preferences. There's a potion and two and 47 gill here, so make sure you grab that because that is your only chance that you're going to be able to even grab it. Here we have blank, China, no, Sheena or something like that, and Marcus. So the first thing you can do is you can try and steal. Not always steal does not always work. There's not always things to steal. But personally I would try to steal him from him twice because he will get a potion and a wrist.
I will not always talk through these walkthroughs, but I will talk as much as necessary or if I need to point something out. You can be hilarious and say that you want to, that they're there to kidnap the queen, but in this case, I'm not going to be funny. I'm going to go with the original. the first time that opening has worked so well. First time in a long time. this place. You can talk to her. Not always. It's You don't really have to. It's pointless, but I do it anyways. There's a potion here. And a fang card in the dresser. This will probably be the only time you'll really be able to grab it. So if you want it, you can take it. If not, you know, it's up to you. And then over here, you also get a potion, which is also another thing that you won't be able to grab any other time. Well, that sucks. You bump, he bumps into you on purpose. No matter what you try to do to run away from him, he'll bump into you. And then there's another potion over here. talk to this kid first before anything.
because at a point in time, he'll tell you the location to where he hid some cards that you can start off with. They're not the best cards, but hey, you get cards at least. So you talk to him before you go this way. Now if you really want to know all this stuff, really you can pick it, but in this case I'm not going to, normally I would, but to make my video shorter, I guess I'd just go show the ticket. Now, if you really want a good card, you only Vivi can do this, and it's really difficult. I'll see if I can attempt it for my first try. I don't think I will be able to, but... Oh, I didn't get the card. Normally when you get to 50, you get the card. I'll try one more time. There you go, I got the cacti card. And you can keep going if you really want. Until you fall, whatever happens, you know. I don't know what happens past any of that, I never really stuck around to figure out. So you know what first, because there's some stuff that you still need to do, first of all go back. And go talk to this kid again. Ignore him. Like I said, some of these items aren't important, but if you're one of those people that want to get every item in the game, this is pretty much how it goes.
hook this kid up here and go find this cat. If you aren't really into the card games and in Final Fantasy, which are sometimes are in most of all of them, I would have to say this is like probably my favorite game to play card games because it's so simple to like learn and it's not even that difficult. But you have to do some backtracking to find the cat, the kid's cat. He gives you a card once you find him, but you have to go all the way back to him once you find the cat. So here's the cat. There's also stuff in here. More cards. And here's Alleyway Jack. If you talk to him, he uh, teaches you how to play the card game. If you really want to learn how to play the card game, if you're not interested in playing card games, then you really don't have to talk to him, but I already understand how the game goes and everything like that. Uh, he's all over the world, so you can look for him but he has different names in different cities. So now you go back to the alley. I know it's a lot of backtracking and running around at the first little part but if you're a person who uh, wants everything basically this is I'm showing you where most of the items are. There's an item here. Basically, you just follow the kid and listen to his instructions. Basically, you're like a little slave. Not really, but... This guy is important. Um, you will see him all around this game. Um, basically, you buy stuff from him, and he gives you 
a certain amount of things and stuff that are useful to you in your travels. If I'm going too fast, please do leave in the comments that you can't really read. I don't know if some people are into reading or just want the game to excel. But talk to the Moogle. Make sure you do Magnet, because it's basically a uh, mail between the Moogles. You get, um, you have to deliver uh, letters to different mo Moogles, and what happens is if you do enough, I think you can go to a certain place or a special place in the game, so just let me save. And then you go up the ladder. hidden stuff on the <clears throat> houses as well. <laughs> That's funny. He says my name is funny. Meanwhile, his name is Punk. Puck. Puck. Who names himself Puck? Like, really? I thought it was gonna work. Just skip it.
have this part, you have to pretend fight your friend. But if you get a hundred a hundred out of nobles watching are impressed, and the queen impressed at the same time, you'll get a lot of money. And it's very hard to do for like in one go. to get perfect, but that's all I'm doing because sometimes it takes them longer. I'm not perfect. I do get things wrong. The trick to do this is really fast and in correct order without any mistakes. Which is so difficult to do, unless you're a really fast person who can read really fast and coordinate their hands really fast. I'll try one more time, but that's all I'm doing. Also goes in different orders, there's no precise order that blank will actually tell you. It's all at random. So you cannot memorize it. with the queen impressed but to do that you cannot mess up at all and you have to do it really fast so
case, you have to search for the princess. But what if you want an elixir from the soldier walking up the stairs? You need to find and talk to all of the soldiers. Second and third night, there's six of them. There's the fifth night. stop if you would like more um comment and yeah subscribe see you next time